Hey guys, welcome back to fm8tutorials.com. Continuing with the special effects feature we've been doing on FM8 this month. I'm going to show you how to make a, a couple of effect sounds in this tutorial. This kind of impact sound that we had here. And also this, quickly show you afterwards, this short sweep sound, which is kind of really quick, easy sound to make. So yeah, let's start off with this impact sound here. So create a new sound in FM8. And let's set the operators up here. So we're going to route these operators through the filter. So F, route into Z. Z route to the output, all at full volume. Turn on operator Z. And operator F, uh, take the ratio to 0.25. And they're going to use a parabol waveform. So let's solo it. It's a bit like a sign, just a slightly different kind of character. So key sync it as well, this waveform, and feed it back into itself at 21. And let's push this cut off up and just pull the resonance of these two filters down as well for now. Uh, next up, operator E, turn that on. Go right to the ops page, turn it on, take the ratio to point. 5009 so it's going to be detuned slightly um, keep the waveform as a sign key sync it and let's route it straight to the filter about 74 and also feed it into F at 37 so it's just roughing up the sound a little bit operator D next turn that on and so the ratio to 0.75 it's going to be second formant waveform key sync it and push this into D at 31 into F at 28 and also straight to the well straight to the filter about 19 20 and feed it into itself a little bit too. About 15. Okay, so let's move to the master section next. And to make the sound monophonic, give it four voices, take the detune off, and just make it really wide this sound. So push the pan right up there. And let's digital just past halfway. And analog about halfway as well. And let's actually turn the volume down a little bit there. As well. Okay, so that's the basic tone put together. Let's move to the envelope section next. So envelopes F, E and D can all link. And we just pull the sustain out slightly. I'm sorry, the re just pull the release out slightly. So they'll just sustain these sounds. And move to the filter next. And if we just pull the cutoff down on filter 1, push the resonance up to about 12, push the mode to high pass, and make sure the routing is routed to filter 2. It's in serial mode, so it's going to pass through filter 1 and then into filter 2 and then to the output. And filter 2, pull the spread down to 0, the resonance to and quarter the way up to around 16 and keep it on a low pass so and what we're going to do is use an envelope here so push the envelope amount up to 100 and tempo sync this envelope and pull the sustain of it out to over here the 2 over the 4 and then check the motor fixed just give it a little bit of release as well so We're going to get this high pass sound, but if we take the sustain off, it's just going to—it's not going to sustain up here. It's basically—it's just going to be high pass for the first kind of this section, and then it's just—we're going to get this instant kind of like low pass sweep. So, which is pretty cool. So next, to kind of add to that effecty sound, let's move to the pitch here. 
and let's dial in a bit of pitch modulation amount so push, push it up to 51 so and we can kind of set up a sort of sustained loop for this sound so tempo sync this envelope zoom in a little bit and just take that release off as well and let's loop it over the sustain loop, loop it over the 4, over the 32 check the mode to fix now and so I'm going to get quite pitched down so we'll set up this envelope in here like this, so we're going to get this nice quite a cool sort of effect. To go to this master here, take the pitch up by or the transpose up by plus twelve, so up one octave. Okay, so the final thing to do really with this sound now is move to the effects section, add a peak EQ, just boost some lower mids and maybe a couple of the sort of high frequencies. Add some reverb, so it's going to sound kind of nice on the sort of effecty sounds. Just push the time up to about 66, the bright up to about three quarters, treble up to about three quarters, and just pull the dry wet down to around 30. Next up, a sight delay. A sync this and pull the time down to six so it's quite a tight sort of delay and the dry wet just pull down to about 15 and final thing to add is a chorus delay and I'm going to sync this, sync the delay, push the time up to 80 so you're going to get a bit more of a sort of slower delay on this um, push the feedback up to 69 keep everything else the same apart from the dry wet just pull down to about a quarter of the way so maybe we'll just push a bit more release on there so there we've got like our effecty sort of impact sound it's quite a cool effect sound really Okay, so next up, let's just make this short sweep sound. So, for starters, let's go to this opera. Well, let's create a new sound in Massive. So, it's got the default sine wave for this short sweep, and we can just root F straight into the filter and root fil the filter to the output, all at full volume, so 100. So, just pull the cut off up of this filter and push, pull the resonance of both filters down too. So filter so for operator one I can use a third format waveform and keep everything the same really so ratio at one and then just turn on operator E and this is going to stay as a sine wave but take the ratio right down to 0.125 so really low. So if I sustain a note here and then bring up the going to feed E into F, we're going to bring the volume of this kind of feedback amount up. We get that sort of vowel-y kind, of, uh, kind of short sweep kind of effect. So what we can do is if we leave the volume of this or this amount at 76, we can use an envelope to control operator E to have that sort of kind of vowel sweep happen automatically. So let's move over to the envelope section. Just drag a little bit of release onto operator F so we're not getting any click on the sound. And for operator E, tempo sync this envelope and zoom out so we see the 4 over 4. 
with the mode on SLD let's drag the sustain point out to here just add a little bit of release as well and check the mode to fix now and let's just back this attack right off so we'll get this slow kind of rise this is going to control the volume of it really so quite a cool effect on the sound so move to the master section now monophonic two voices take the detune off and just pan those voices out quite wide so push that pan right up to about 90 and let's add a nice bit of digital on there as well so about 74 on the digital and move to the filter section next everything can stay the same really apart from it's going to use the resonance here of both filters to bring a bit of character into the sound. So 22 on the first filter and about 44 on the second filter. So finally just move over to the effects section, peak EQ, just boost up some of those higher mids and bring a bit more volume into the sound and let's also add a bit of reverb as well so just push the time up a bit the bright up a little bit and treble to maybe about two thirds of the way and then just pull this dry wet control down a bit so it's got a nice little reverb tail on there and that's the sound done, so... Okay, so a couple of kind of effect sounds using FM8, the impact sound and the short sweep, so... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch, and thanks for watching. Alright, cheers, bye. <laughs>